have been calling the Hogs all afternoon. The Hog pen is packed. Another crowd of close to 12,000 expected. Tusk has his pregame meal. And guess who's back for one more night? Go Hogs! South Carolina's done something a lot of teams haven't been able to do, and that's win a couple of ball games here. Arkansas is 34-4 and four inside Baum Stadium. Two of those wins go to Mark Kingston's Gamecock. What's at stake? South Carolina's 12th College World Series appearance. For Arkansas, it would be their ninth. Somebody's heading there after this one. There are no tickets available. Isaiah Campbell getting the ball. Ben, redshirt sophomore. Big boy, what do we like about him? Well, you like the fastball and you like the size. Big kid. You see six foot four, 225 pounds. A fastball is going to be a good one. Here's a chopper out to short. Biggers fields and throws, and that'll be one out. He can really be tough. Mm. There you go. He found his command on that 2-2 pitch. Inning is over with the strikeout on this club. And Cole will draw the walk. They just have so much power. That'll drop in front of Cortez out and left. Two on and nobody out. Ground ball. Out to Bride. Nobody's there to cover second, and then he throws it away. Here comes Cole. One nothing. A defensive breakdown again for South Carolina. It's closest to the bag. Ground ball to Bride. Tolbert's supposed to be there. Rowe comes over just because Tolbert's not there. Bride decides to redirect, but that's the danger of shifts if you haven't. Yeah. Line drive, base hit off the bat of Bonfield. Martin will score. Kerstad all the way over to third. And it's a 2-0 ball game. Luxury to have a kid like this back for his fifth year. That is deep to left. Way out of here. Three-run shot. Carson Shaddy. and Arkansas is just too good. You cannot give them extra chances. One hops in front of Cortez, so Cook with the base hit with two outs. Justin Rowe called third strike. Back-to-back -back case. Now. First at 314. Mm. Well, they are barreling it up today. 3-0 to Kerstad, and that one is off the plate. So the walk will put him in first and second with one out. Yeah. Line out to right field. That may get two in. They'll hold up Kerstad at third base, but an RBI single makes it 6-0 off the bat of Luke Bonfield, his second RBI today. Fletcher. Loops that one out to center. Long run. Catch made by Blair. What a job by Danny Blair. But that will be a sacrifice fly and an RBI. Go through that lineup one time and maybe save a pitch for the second time through. Yeah. He went around. High in the air. Left center. Did he get enough of it? Just shy of getting one out of here. Base hit in the left center. Second hit of the game for the Gamecocks. And Jonah Bride is on with one out. That ball's hit pretty well. Left center, long run for Kerstad and Fletcher. And Kerstad can't make a play. Jonah Bride trying to get to third. Here's the throw, and he'll slide in safely. Or they, uh, they're going to say, nobody said dead ball. Wow. Two runs are going to score. Wow. Justin Rowe comes around from second to score. I thought that ball hit his foot. Now, I may be wrong. It even sounded. Is he pointing that the ball hit the dirt? And I'll tell you well, what. It looks like it hits the back of his foot, but Tolbert doesn't budge. 
because the issue at hand was whether or not it hit him. Dave Van Horn not happy at all about this. Down the line and left. Kirsten had, had trouble finding it. It drops. He had no idea where that ball was. <laughs> Inning is over. Now, you may have thought it was a strike, but that ball slides through Matt Williams. And there goes Cole. He'll wind up with a double. Going. He was struggling here in this super, but now he's reached base three times, including two hits. And now Casey Martin. And that will draw the walk on four pitches. Yeah. Trying to go inside. That's out to center field. Blair will make the catch shy of the track, but that'll be good enough to get a run home. And Eric Cole will make it 8-2 to two, Arkansas. Lowski, 279 ERA for the right hander. And on game one, three innings pitch, four strikeouts. Second out of the inning. Little blooper. Is he going to get in there? Long run for Cole makes the catch. And the inning is over. You know what I mean? I don't know how they do it. Oh, that hit Gates on a 3-2 pitch. Cook, 3-1 and one on him at the plate, and he'll draw a walk. And they are loaded up. And there is the walk. It's now 9-2, and nobody's out. And you got Casey Martin and Heston Kerstad coming up now. 13, Martin's got 13, Kerstad 14. Deep to center, Danny Blair twists and turn, can't come up with it. Off the wall. That'll score Cook. Biggers will score. Throw to third, two RBIs off the bat of Casey Mark. Fly ball out to Blair. This should get a run home. Cole's at third, he'll tag up. Martin will hustle over to third. It's now a 12-2 game. In this inning, infield in, and that one out to center field. It'll drop in for a base hit. And Casey Martin will come in to score. All that comes along with that. Ground ball. Oh, wow. Out to Biggers. <laughs> There it is. It wasn't the target, but that's the pitch that he has the yeah. most effective results on. I love the way he navigated him back. That ball is smoked off the bat of Olsen. Is it enough to get out of here? It is. He was actually caught out there in the bullpen on the fly. Jake Ryan will get in the ball. It was not pretty for Jake. His last outing, the junior from right here in Fayetteville, struggled. Mm -hmm. Stokes strikes out. Turned down the draft to come back. Already turned down the draft to come right. back to his senior year. Jonah Bride walks, base is loaded. Yeah. Home run? I don't know if I have or not. That one's hit to left, and it's pretty deep. Cole looking like Hank Aaron smashes one over the fence. Eric Cole is feeling it tonight. Slow in the first two games, not tonight. He's got a single, a double, a, a home run, and a couple of walks, and he has scored four runs. Cole Ramage getting the ball here in the eighth inning, the freshman out of South Lake, Texas. Hard hit ball. There's Martin with a stab and a throw. My goodness, how about that all? Frozen rope coming across the diamond. How about that? Again, it's, it's, just a freshman. It's so easy for him. Handing across How the diamond. How smooth is this 360 slide? Look at this. Just a little 360 piece. Hop up. 
And he may have homered this time as well. Hey, how you doing, Jacob Olson? Stuck by that strike zone throughout the game. Swing and a miss. Luke Bonfield getting a great ovation from the fans here at Baum Stadium. Boy, Dave Van Horn had a big smile on his face, too. You know, well, listen to the ovation for this guy, Carson Shaddy, the senior, his final at bat in Fayetteville. Come on, Carson. Do it. Stop it. Wow, what a series. What a home run. If that one leaves the yard, it's high and deep to right. Is there enough? Oh, wow. That ball hung in the air forever. We head to the ninth. Arkansas, three outs away from Omaha. 93 on our gun, but it's all from the left side. It's a good breaking ball. And the heater is way above average. You see the numbers, 41 innings pitch, 51. Biggers scoops, throws, one out. <laughs> Lifted in the air to right. Cole will make the catch. And Arkansas has done it. They're headed to their ninth trip to the College World Series. So by winning here tonight, the Arkansas Razorbacks will head to Omaha. And guess who they face in game number one? That'll be a good one. Texas Longhorns. You can put 2018 as another trip to the College World Series. So for Chris Burke, Ben McDonald, the rest of our exceptional college baseball team. I'm Dave Neal saying so long from Fayetteville as the Hawks win this Super Regional 14-4. Up next, ESPN Sports Shorts. So long from the Ozarks.